Hey guys, uh, so now that we have uh, have a Django set up and it's ready to go. Uh, all right, uh, what we're going to do right now is uh, we're going to add in the HTML that we have come up with uh, from our design file from Figma. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take home.html uh, from a foodie dot underscore HTML a static file. All right, I'm going to copy that control A and control C and i'm going to paste that in under inside my counter template at home.html django app all right so i'm going to control v here and save it now if i come back let me just start this over here uh, say python manage.py run so also make sure you're still in the virtual environment. Uh, sometimes when you shut down your PC like I did and when you uh, switch it back on, uh, you get exited out of your virtual environment. So that it's important that you're still in the virtual environment. So I'm gonna hit run server again. I have a typo here, Python. py. All right, our server is running. We'll come back here and refresh. All right, so yes, uh, the bootstrap styles are being loaded. That's because it's coming in uh, from the CDN that is not static. It's coming from some other place, a different server, but it's still not loading our style.css. And one reason, obvious reason is that we haven't yet, yet got that inside our uh, project. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy uh, uh, style.css, control C, then I'm going to uh, go inside my calorie app folder, select on food, select foodie, go inside foodie, and I'm going to create a new folder called static, S T A T I C static, and I'm going to paste that in. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the images, Control C, foodie underscore HTML, the static file, drop it in here. So, right, there's some errors and not allowing me to uh, copy it. I don't know why. So I'm gonna probably it'll uh, allow you to, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder, put in images, right? Open that up, copy all these files from here and paste it. All right. So I'm going to close all uh, both of these folders now. We don't need them anymore, hopefully. Right. So if you come within VS Code uh, and if you look inside, uh, under the static folder, we have uh, images and you have style.css. All right. So now we need to let Django know that uh, there is something called as a static folder inside Foodie. And the way to do that is in your settings file, Click on settings, All right? Just scroll down here under static. Under static, what we're going to do is we're going to add a few lines of code uh, that tells uh, Django where to file us uh, find our static files. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, static static underscore right is equal to os dot path dot join all right uh, brackets open type basc underscore dir base directory comma then open up ports and type in static all right uh, i have an error it says name os is not defined we'll fix that uh, then we have uh, we have to write another command and another line of code and saying that static uh, files underscore EIRS is equal to I'm going to copy this os.path from above control C. Okay, then I need to change uh, this over here. I need to uh, define that the static file directory is within the foodie folder and inside static. So I want to type in foodie slash static. 
all right uh i think i missed adding square brackets here i need to add bra uh, square brackets so let's add in a bracket and brackets all right so static underscore root os dot path dot join base directory static os dot path to join fully static all right i think we're all good so let's go on scroll to the top and under path let's import os all right so i think we should have the error gone now there's no error now all right so everything looks good Right now, let's run a server again. Python managed your py dot run server. Let's see if there are any errors. No, no errors. I'm gonna exit out of the server again. All right, and here I'm gonna say Python manage dot py select that. So what this gonna do is it's gonna create a folder outside uh, the foodie folder and under the main uh, calorie app folder. Uh, called static because that's what we have set here right and all these static files from foodie are going to be stored in this folder which is going to get created and django is going to look into it all the time when it has to find any images all right so that's that let's hit enter all right it says it's uh, created a static folder but i'm not able to find where the files are what have we done? Static files. Static underscore root os dot path dot join. Static static files underscore dirs. That's okay. Is equal to packets os dot part dot join is these last static oh all right the reason uh, i'm having this error because i missed adding a slash at the end of static here so what i'm going to do is guys i'm really sorry uh, it's my fault uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this entire folder from here okay i'm going to delete this as well all right so i'm going to and slash after static save that come back to my command uh, terminal and again collect static all right so i hope that's fixed no it hasn't oh i get it all right i'm sorry again I, we need to we need to go back all right uh Need to go back uh, to static. Uh, yes, I got that deleted. All right, so it's foodie. All right, and not foodies. It's foodie. Uh, it's, uh, this one foodie. All right, I added an extra s here, so that was a problem. Uh, these things happen uh, every time. So, all right. Yep. So we have more number of files now. Earlier it was one twenty eight. Now it's one thirty five. All right, so we have our images and styles. All right, we got everything loaded in here. Now, let's save this. Sorry for all the confusion. But we need to get this fixed. Otherwise, uh, a lot of people go through this frustration of the images not being loaded. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back to my home.html. Uh, and about doc type uh, HTML, I'm going to open up to flower brackets or they call it curly braces all right uh, i'm gonna add two percentages sign this is also called as a mustache handlebar okay quotes uh, sorry signs so i'm gonna say uh, lower that right uh, now to just to make sure that everything is working well uh, i'm gonna go to the logo here in image source images logo.png and after source, I'm going to open up a uh, curly braces and add in a percentage sign. That fix. <clears throat> uh, make sure that uh, 
ports are outside all right then i'm going to select images logo.png add in single quotes to that all right so do not confuse yourself with the double quotes those are required uh, for the source all right then i'm going to close this with the curly braces and add in a percentage sign all right now if everything is working fine then we should be seeing our images on our web page all right so let's go back Hit refresh oops we haven't started a server so let's run a server no errors that's great there you go all right so our image is loaded that means the static files are working fine uh, it's pretty important that you get this right guys because uh, a couple of times what happens is uh, a small uh, keyword somewhere gets missed and you have to go through hell to get this rectified uh, it's especially with the static file it's kind of frustrating with django uh, to get that up and running because there are a lot of things you need to do uh, all right so anyways uh, we have fixed that issue now so let's go and uh, load in a style sheet okay uh, inside the codes i'm gonna add a curly brace and a perfect sign and in static uh, open uh, quotes and uh, close quotes and, uh, percentage sign braces. all right so let's go back and hit refresh yeah so styles are loading everything looks good all right now we need to add this images as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause this video right now all right and i'm going to add this images uh without recording it i want you guys to go ahead and try this out yourself all right uh, you have to load the emoji here you have to load all these icons here all right try using the uh, curly braces all right uh, you'll have to use these curly braces and call static and then uh, you know the uh, images later after that all right even for style sheet uh, even anything that is static and that is being fetched from the foodie folder has to have this all right I'm going to pause this video and I'll see you in the next video and I hope uh, you get you got this right all right